guys, I'm gonna read with you a book called Be Safe, written by Joyce Piapgo, illustrated by Maria Christina Sison. Buzzadi buzz buzz, buzzadi buzz buzz. I am D Z B. I can count one two three and write my A B C. Buzzadi buzz buzz, buzzadi buzz buzz. But how can I learn to be safe? When at home, I can learn to be safe by not touching a pot, or I might soon be screaming, "Ow! It's hot!" I can be safe by not playing with a match, or a house on fire would be scary to watch. I can be safe by washing my hands before I eat, or my tummy might not like it. I can be safe by not sticking my finger in the electric socket, or I might get a bad bur burn and a hole in my pocket. Buzzedy buzz buzz, I am D the B. I can be safe and not run with sharp things, or I might fall and hurt myself and puncture my wings. I can be safe by not talking to strangers, or if I do, I'll meet or all sorts of dangers. I can be safe by not throwing my food on the floor, or I might slip and hit my head on the door. I can by I can be safe by using the pedestrian lane, or I might have to use crutches and walk in pain. Buzzy buzz buzz, buzzy buzz buzz. I am D Z B. When I play, I'll be safer, not wandering alone, or I might get lost or miss the school bus ride home. Being safe means I'll check when I'm leaving my chair. Have I got all my things? Have I got my friend Bear? I can be safe by knowing the names of my parents and the address and phone number at home. So when I get lost, I can ask the the police to take me back to my home. I can be safe by not letting others touch my body parts that are covered by my swimming trunks or bathing suit. These body parts are not meant for others to touch. Buzzy buzz buzz buzzy buzz buzz. I am B the B. Being safe is e as easy as A B C. The end. Bye guys.